Here at Martin Brothers, we love, love quality products, and we just are excited to introduce our new beef line. It is Copper Creek, and it's a Unipro label, wonderful product, two-thirds choice up. Of course, that's all we would sell you. But here is a piece of a strip loin that we're gonna cut today. What's so great about a strip loin, it has a tenderness and it has great flavor. Um, of course, it's not gonna be as tender as a tenderloin beef or the tenderloin, or it's gonna have just as much flavor as our ribeye. But it's something that we just haven't really pushed in the, in the Midwest. And if you go to the East West Coast, that's where you're gonna see it. One of the cuts that we're gonna do is the basic New York strip or the Kansas City strip. And then we're gonna do another one for you called the Manhattan strip. And this is about a 12 pounder. And you know, the uh, average strip loin is gonna be 12, 14 pounds. If we see anything that we really don't wanna eat ourselves, let's take it off. So we don't want to strip down too much. You know, you can use a boning knife, uh, whatever. See this little piece here, we're gonna take that off. It doesn't look too good. And what can you do with those pieces? You can render them down and make a great sauce. And I'm gonna take a little bit here as we cut that down there. I'm just gonna take a little bit off my the tail here not much because we're going to trim it afterwards after we cut our steaks we are going to decide what size of steaks we want you know how thick do we want them what are we cutting them for like i said we're going to do some manhattans today so this is your tail so we'll do it from that side we will start by facing it so we want to have nice clean steaks and I see a lot of folks, and make sure your knife is sharp, but I'll see them sawing. We don't want to do that to a steak. <clears throat> we want to make sure we got like three or four cuts through. And as you can see, this is my vein side. So it's going to get a little bit different as we move along. So I'm going to take off some fat here. And really, this piece did not have that big of a tail, but we're going to take that off. Leave some on. That is flavor. There's one of your New Yorks or Kansas City. Another one. Then we're going to do right through. So that's what a New York, Kansas City. We talked about Manhattan cut. I'm going to do a couple Manhattans. Real thick. These are our vein steaks. We'll talk about those. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tail off. Okay, there's not a ton of meat on there that we are wasting. Again, render it for good. And I know this is like heartbreaking right here. We're going to do the same here. We just took that off. It's about an ounce. So now we're taking a look at it looking pretty clean. Now the fat. We are going to take a lot of the fat off right around so try to trim as close and you can see we're getting it pretty close and then we're going to trim this off just a hair so as you can see it's nice thick this is probably about a 10 ouncer but we don't want any of the silver skin on it this is your Manhattan cut. Almost like a tenderloin, that's about a 10 ounce, 12 ounce tenderloin. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker. Scott, that's too big for what we wanna do with it. So we're gonna make a petite. And again, there you are, a petite Manhattan cut, full size Manhattan. But we talked about the vein steaks. <clears throat> Some people won't eat them, which is fine. But what can we do with these? We can serve them as is. And a lot of your stores, if you go shop, they'll go end to end and this is what you're gonna get. But if you don't want that vein in there, which is tough, we know it is. If we take that out and we can cut along both sides, 
so we won't waste that much. We'll cut that off too. We'll get rid of that vein. And we could do coarse kebabs. Or if we want to get really fun, and we can cut that later, we'll do fajita. Or we can cut it real thin and make them into breakfast steaks. So there's a lot of things, do not waste those. So we've got center cut and vein. That is the strip loin.